Shopping at BasicGrade.com is simple. If you have experience with shopping at other online stores, most of this will be familiar to you. But just in case, I'll walk you through placing an order at BasicGrade.com. I'll be shopping as a consumer who wants to buy directly from Basic Gray. In order to shop, you need to be logged into your account. If you don't have an account, click on Create an Account and the website will guide you through the steps of creating your very own BasicGrade.com account. In my case, I already have an account, so I'll just sign in. Okay, I'm all signed in and ready to shop. Today I want to buy it from different sections of the website. Let's start with Scrapbook. From the main Scrapbook page, click on Retail Shop. Here are all the thumbnail images for each product available for purchase from BasicGrade.com. As you mouse over each product, a larger image appears. I want to see all the details for this product, so I'll click on the thumbnail image. This takes me to the product page. The product page shows all of the current information about that particular product. You can also see a larger image of the product by mousing over the image. Simply click on Add to Cart. When you add something to your cart, a drop-down menu appears at the top right corner of the site. Also, in the black bar at the top of the screen, you'll see that I now have one item in my cart and the subtotal for my order. Next, I want to buy something from the Fabric section, so I'll click on Fabric. All basic gray fabrics are available to purchase from the website. Let's go to the Collections. and then to Eva, and then I'll select the item that I want to buy. Instead of clicking on the item to go to the product page, this time I'll just select Add to Cart. This is a quick way to buy products that you're already familiar with. Now I want to add something from the digital section, so I'll click on Digital. After clicking on Shop, I can then purchase digital kits. A basic gray starter kit is a great way to get into digital scrapbooking, so I'll select a starter kit. Under Kits, and then Starter Kits, I'll select the starter kit that I want to buy. I also want to buy just one particular digital paper pattern, so I'll go to the A la carte section. This is where I can buy single digital files. I'll select this pattern right here and click Add to Cart, and it's added to my cart. Now it's time to check out and finalize my order. In the black bar at the top of the screen, I'll click on Cart. If you need to remove an item from your cart, select the quantity number and change it to zero. And then click Update. When you're ready to finalize your order, click on Check Out. This is the page where you will select your shipping address, shipping method, and payment method. I'll go ahead and select mine. You'll also need to check this box here that says you've read the terms and conditions. At the bottom of the terms and conditions, you'll see a date. I'll scroll down to the bottom, and you'll, you'll see a date. If the terms and conditions have been updated since your last purchase, now is a great time to review any changes that might affect your purchase. I already have, so I'll click Agree. Then I'll click on Next. The website then gives me a summary of my order. It tells me which items are available for immediate download, which items are out of stock, and which items are available now. After reviewing my order, I'll click on Place Order, after which the receipt information will then be displayed on the screen and also email to me at my email address.